The big day has finally arrived and the shepherds are jetting off on their family holiday. The journey is the longest that we've ever done to a resort. 12 hours on the plane to Mali, and then we've got to get on a domestic flight to another island, and then we have to get on a boat to the actual island. For an hour. So <laughs> the journey is quite daunting. A mere three hours into their 22-hour journey, and it's time to get settled into the flight. The fact we've got Mum here with us as well really helps that we know that there's enough of us to keep an eye on all the kids. The view when you get to the Maldives, it is so amazing. It just brings back so many good memories, doesn't it? It's like the most exciting thing. The shepherds have made it to the Maldives, and with the longest stint of their journey over, they just need to wait for one piece of luggage before they board their next flight. I haven't seen my pram come out yet. Yeah. All of our luggage is here, except for the pram. I just started to get this really bad feeling that my pram for Margot didn't make it on the plane. I do. Well, we actually need to do it, we can't have a pram. To go through and speak to someone. And I just started to panic, thinking, a four-month-old baby, you know, she needs to be in a pram. You know, you're walking around an island, there's going to be, like, sun everywhere. Like, you need your pram. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. When they said that, I actually couldn't believe it. Like, I know it sounds traumatic, but it was like the biggest it relief. Been a proper headache. But anyway, we've got the pram. Panic over. Panic over. You've saved us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wish I had one with me. With the pram now back in their possession. It's now on to flight number two. It is a really special place for us. We got engaged there, we got married there, we've had lots of lovely holidays there, so we know it's going to be so lovely. It's going to be really nice taking Margot there as well. And finally, with 21 hours of travel behind them, there's only the speedboat left to board. We're sitting here. And despite the long journey, with the help of plenty of snacks... Oh, God, ..and a turn at steering the boat... That's Captain Arthur. That's Captain Arthur Shepherd there. Everyone's spirits have been kept up until at last the island of Ayada is in sight. And after an epic 22 hours, a very warm island welcome awaits. 